that causes the legs to go over fives for her. 30. Caroline Kupka. In World One and a Half Summer Supplike for the Norwegian diver. Nice, uh, very, very strong when uh, pressing the board and uh, bring her higher. She, it, it looks like she left the board, moved her feet backwards to get in a pike a little bit. Ping. She does a good job with that. With that kind of a squat, she could have waited for the board to run much higher, but it's again another one and a half pike that is above average for most. It's, um, for most of the divers, that's the strategy uh, for her. We've seen four mistakes back uh, in a row. And now, nice. Uh, but uh, we saw Caroline Kupka from Norway. She was in the corner, and uh, even though she was... Yeah. We're still waiting on this dive for the Romanian, Romanian diver. Caroline Kupka, same dive for the Nor Norwegian diver. Caroline was in a ninth place. Nice. Uh, the average score needed to be in the top 12 rank, rank divers. Not too. And exactly as I told you, 4370, that's what she wanted to. Four and a half, another mediocre dive, unfortunately. 35 points only. Nice. Caroline Kupka now, the reverse one and a half, Somerset Pike. Wow, how strong. You'll notice how she sip, and unfortunately for her, she did not manage uh, to get vertical. She over rotates and gets five and a half from fives and five and a half from the judge. The, here, the springboard in the water. Not many female divers are that strong. That is in fives from fives and five and a half from the judges. Too bad with such a with that kind of jump, with such a strong jump. She could have done a bet on this dive. 154 for Emily. Put the riskiest or the one that scares, the, scares them the most. But you'll notice how she was going to do a good job on that one. Unfortunately for her, that did not happen. Reverse one and a half, somersault one and a half, twist four uh, with that. And now is in fifth place. Uh, while before was in 14th, so she is one of those divers that can take advantage of the huge.